Hey, 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 everyone. This is Wendy Susan Richmond, and welcome back to the Undercover Marketing Secrets Podcast. All right. Today, we are going to talk about the Undercover Marketing Secrets, about uh, Russell Brunson's Marketing Secrets Black Book, and he has 99 secrets uh, about uh, marketing that uh, this man is actually uh, has is the owner of ClickFunnels. And ClickFunnels is basically a $100 million company. He took his company from zero to $100 million in three years. So he put together this Marketing Secrets Black Book that I'm going through one at a time. And I'm, uh, you know, applying them here with what I do as well as uh, letting you uh, hear about it and see how you can apply it to your own business. So today we are going to talk about uh, the number 10 Marketing Secrets uh, Black Book Secret, and is it called, the title is, Are You Proud of It? You know, in reading this Marketing Secret, uh, it really made me think about what I've done and continue to do as a marketer. You know, here's what Russell says. There will be times in business when you're not sure if you're done, uh, if your product or service is perfect or good enough for the market. And my dad taught me an important lesson about knowing when to put something out there. My parents were really good at giving us chores and making sure that we worked and we were producers inside of our family. One Saturday, as they were giving out the chores to everyone, my chore was to wash his car. So I washed the outside and I washed the inside. I sprayed the windows quickly and did a few other things. Then I came inside and said, okay, dad, I'm done. Do you want to come and look at it? I'll never forget what he said. Russell, are you proud of it? If you're proud of it, you're done. Of course, I knew I'd cut corners a bit because I wanted to be done with chores and go goof off with my friends. And maybe it was a bit of a guilt trip from him, but it worked. I went back outside to review my work and realized I wasn't proud of it. I'd gone halfway. So I continued to clean the car more thoroughly and then went back to ask him again. The next time he asked if I was proud of it, I was able to answer yes. And he said, good, then you're done. To which I replied, do you want to come see it? And he said, no. If you're proud of it, then it must be good enough. And I know sometimes I've cut corners. I mean, now we're back to me. You know, me, sometimes I've cut corners in some of the marketing I've done. And, I, you know, for example, in my blog posts, uh, you know, I'm trying to create content and get as much content out as, as possible to help as many people as possible. And sometimes I just write it and then click send and get it out there. And then as I do with a lot of uh, my, my uh, podcasts is I read my blog post and, you know, I, then I see the blatant uh, misspellings or, you know, how I wasn't using wording that was clear it wasn't clear uh you know it was it's interesting when you when you start to see because i'm trying to you know again uh, um get things out but i get it out in a hurry and and it sometimes it's not the quality that it should be or it could be now this marketing secret really got me to slow down and think about what i put out in the world i don't believe it has to be perfect right i i know that you know, a lot of times, in, in, uh, uh, whether it's practitioners or uh, entrepreneurs or business people, they, they don't do things because they're afraid that it isn't perfect. And, you know, an interesting thing, well, let's talk about that for a moment. I have one of my clients, and he is a dentist, and his first language is not English, yet he has put out video after video after video after video after video. I'm not kidding. You know, there's over 200 videos on uh, their YouTube channel. And he has a, he's a prominent person speaking in these videos. And yet his first language is not English. So it's not perfect, but it's, it's out there. And it's not horrible, right? It's, it's not bad. It's, it's good enough, right? But it's not like sloppy. So that's the, you know, kind of the difference is that I see, I go back and I, you know, I read my, my blog post uh, and I see, you know, just some blatant things there. And I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have been so quick to put that out. So this marketing secret really got me to slow down and think about what I put out in the world. I don't believe, remember, it just has to be perfect. I do believe that I do need to be proud of it. 
So I think this is a good tip for all entrepreneurs, business owners, practice owners, is slowing down a bit and looking at what you're doing and taking the time to put marketing out that you are proud of. And can, I mean, that can really help grow your business or your practice. And I believe it hands down. All right. With that being said, this is Wendy Susan Richmond. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. I uh, hope you've uh, got uh, something from this. And remember, make it a great day. You have a choice of how you make your days. So make it a great day. And we'll talk with you next time.